one that saveth his life say, oh no, I, I'm not a Christian anymore. You just lost your life. You lost it twice. You just yeah. lost your life. And so we got to take the heart. So, so now, so we, we're talking about counting the cost. So remember now, I'm just giving you an outline here. I'm just giving you an outline here. And it goes back to Jesus. It just goes back to all the prophets. And so, but this is going to be deep. So I want you to know and you think about Jesus on the cross. I want you to just know here, and I'm not going to ask you to turn, but I want you to know that every believer, every man and woman of God went through a fiery trial. Every woman and man of God in those days were slain. Every prophet was murdered from Abel to Zechariah. All of them were killed and murdered, beheaded. Every one of them because they would not relinquish their belief. And they stood up for what they believed in. And you know they're in the kingdom now. So, so I, I'm, I'm telling you is that seeing what happened to all the prophets that they were all killed, slain, and murdered. Nicholas to say that Jesus was slain. He was slain before the foundation of the earth. Jesus was put on a cross because of what he stood for in his belief and murdered before the world. He was executed. And you think that you're just going to sign up and that's it? So let me get to the heavy part now. We're not outlining that, so we understand that. You got you to gotta, you gotta have your mind made up. See, if you are on the road from Maceo and you say, well, I'm trying to go to heaven. If you're on the road and you're trying to make heaven your home, I want to tell you today that the road that leads to heaven, you got to go through hell. Mm -hmm. I say you got to go through hell to get to heaven. Mm -hmm. I, I just say, mm. they say, mm. they say, mm. you mean to tell me I got to go to hell? Yes, you got to go through hell. You ever heard anybody say I'm catching hell? Anybody ever call hell in here? <laughs> but you got it. If you had a GPS system and it was telling you how to get to heaven and you look at that map and they say, well, you got to go through hell. <laughs> no hell, no heaven. No cross, no crown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want you to understand this. They crucified Jesus on the cross. He died on that cross. And Jesus ended up in hell for three days. For three days! For three days! He was in hell. Setting the captives free. But on the third day, he rose up with all power in heaven and in earth in his hand. All power he rose on the third day. So, Jesus went. The scripture says that he did not leave his son soul in hell. That God did. But he went to hell because you got to remember. He took on all of our sin. If you sin, where you going? Mm, I say, when you sin, where you going? You think you're going to heaven as a sinner? So he had to go to hell to pay the debt. But when he emerged, but when he emerged, there was the victory. And that victory will allow us to go through hell and come through hell. I say you ain't staying in hell, but you're coming through hell to get to heaven. I never said hell was going to be permanent. I said, but you're going to travel through it to get to heaven. As Jesus' journey was through hell, so will your journey be. But remember, 
while you're going through hell, you know you already have the victory. Amen. 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 The scripture says, for I reckon mm. that the suffering of this present time is not worthy to be compared with the things that God has prepared for them that love him. Says, I have not seen, nor ears have heard the things that God has prepared for them that love Said so weeping may endure for a night, but joy will yeah. come in the morning. Yeah. See, we can go through some things in confidence. The scripture says, count it all joy. Because you have the victory. Hell not going to be your home, but you're going to go through to get to heaven. Because that's the fiery trial that's going to try you. That's when you're going to get strong in your faith. And you know that Jesus gave you the victory. And you have hope. And you're never going to give up the hope that you have. And I'm giving you just an outline. It gets deeper than that, but that's just the point. I never said you was going to hell to stay. But hell is just the place you got to travel through to get to heaven. Now, I say this as I prepare to close. I was a renegade in the streets. I've done everything a person could do to be put away for a long time. But one day I gave my life to the Lord. I heard the voice of God. I got saved. I got saved. Gave my life to the Lord over 30 years ago. Went into a church and confessed Jesus as my Lord. And I done did some of everything. And three months after I got saved, I found myself in a courtroom being sentenced to nine years in federal prison. Hadn't done a thing, didn't, didn't do nothing, but they said to me, you, you were illegally using a telephone. Now all the things I done done when I was in the world, nothing happened to me. Soon as I get saved, then I get charged for illegal use of a, a telephone. And I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying to God, to God, where you at? I'm saying now. Why are you letting this happen to me, God? I gave my life to you, God. They don't found me guilty, God. I had a trial. They found me guilty, God. You know I'm new at this. You know I'm new at it, God. I don't want to leave my family, God. They just sentenced me. And I'm here I am. In federal prison, ministering the gospel, mm -hmm. leading people to the Lord, right. being an example of the kingdom. People's flocking to me, became the inmate chaplain in there, mm -hmm. encouraging all the youth and young people in there. Mm -hmm. Until before I knew it, the time had passed. Mm -hmm. It was time to come home. And I said, Wow, I didn't even feel the pain of prison. Because I was so busy helping other people. I was so busy encouraging others until God kept me encouraged. Amen. And so when I reflect back, I said, wow, why this had to happen as soon as I got saved? Because I said, I had to go through hell to get to heaven. Amen. 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 And I'm going to tell you something. Be without your family. Be without your children. Having to celebrate all your birthdays after the after, in there, that that's not that's not a good feeling. But guess what? I'm standing here before you today, telling my story that I was on the road to heaven. And as I close, there was an apostle by the name of Apostle Paul. His name was Saul. Listen to me very carefully. His name was Saul. So he was persecuting the church of God. He was persecuting the Christians. And so one day he met God. Anybody ever met God before? That's how you got to say you had to meet him. Amen. And so one day he met God on the road to Damascus. He was going to kill some Christians, going to persecute some Christians. And God spoke to him. And he fell to the ground. And the light from the sky blinded. Many witnesses, many witnesses were there. That's the light 
That's that same light that blinded Paul. That's the light that's going to light up the world when Jesus returns. Amen. Because the world going to be dark and Jesus is going to be the light of the world. Amen. But that light was so bright, it blinded Paul. He stayed blinded for three days. And so Paul, so, so God told him, say, say, told Ananias, he said, go lay hands on him so he can get his sight. Ananias told God, say, 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 God, man, God, you sure? Because that man been killing us. No, God, go. He said, is this you talking to me, God? Because I'm scared of that man. I'm, I'm afraid of that man. And God suffer many things for my name's sake. And as we know, not only did he suffer, but he went on to write two-thirds of the New Testament. Yes, yes, so yes. I'm here today to tell you, if you ain't gonna go through nothing, if you think that you will be a believer and not identify some suffering and pain with Christ, then you don't have the connection. Wow. That's why the scripture says some tough time, count it all joy. Mm -hmm. Because your suffering identifies with the suffering of Christ. A amen. amen. And so I say this to you. Did you count the cost? Because that's why so many Christians backslide. That's why so many believers get weak in their faith because their faith is compromised mm -hmm. when tough times come. They succumb to tough times. Because whatever you can't control, it'll control you. Whatever it is that you cannot overcome, it will overcome you. And so um, this is this the encouragement part about it. You're not signed up now. You enlisted now. How many of us know there's casualty in wars? Let me just say this to you. If you don't go through nothing, then chances are you don't have that connection. You, you have been deceived. Remember, all that will live righteous in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Mm -hmm. Ain't no maybe. I didn't. I never said you were going to stay in hell, but you're going to go through hell to get to heaven. That's your test. You got to be counted worthy. Amen. That means why you going through hell? God going to look at you and see you still trust in Him, mm -hmm. even while you're going through hell. Amen. So stop, stop feeling sad and start feeling happy yes, yes, yes. when you're going through some challenges and some tough times because that means that you're on your way to heaven. Hallelujah. 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 Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Bow your heads with me at this time.